This video could save your rabbit's life. We'll be discussing a rabbit physical exam and what health signs to look out for. So when I do my rabbit physical exams, start by looking at their eyes. Make sure they're clear, they don't have any opacities in their eyes. Sometimes um, E. caniculi can present with um, eye changes, they can get cataracts. So then I look at the ears. Rabbits with floppy ears are especially prone to ear infections. And rabbits that are housed outside or come from poor conditions may develop ear mite infections, which can be pretty nasty. The nose, I look for discharge. I use this nasal speculum here to get a good look at the mouth. And I start by assessing the front teeth by pulling the lips back. Now you notice that he is missing two of his front teeth. His left upper and left lower incisors were removed, so he only has one right here. Those are going to get removed soon, probably, because he has a malocclusion. This is a comparison of normal and abnormal front teeth. Teeth can become overgrown if they're not worn down properly, and this happens if they have improper husbandry, poor genetics causing the teeth not to line up, or even trauma. And then I use the speculum, and I usually have them brought to the front of the table so I can hold it like this, and I put it on this side, and then look at their back teeth like this. And they'll usually move their mouth around a little bit, and that's okay. Finally, calm down to get a good look at the teeth like that. One thing about rabbit teeth is that they are continuously growing throughout their lifetime. And if they don't get worn down properly, they can become overgrown and lead to dental issues, such as sharp points that cut into their mouth and gums and dental abscesses. I feel around the jaw, feel for any lumps or bumps, abscesses around the mouth, I feel their neck, their lymph nodes, I listen, their heart into either side of the chest and then I also listen to their gut sounds especially for any rabbit you're suspicious of GI stasis which is a syndrome that can be deadly if left untreated now I take a good feel of their belly I feel for any masses or swellings any amount of gas any signs of pain sometimes they'll tense up especially if they have like liver lobe torsion or GI stasis, because those are extremely painful. His belly is nice and soft. Um, I also take a minute to assess the fur. Do I see any mites or lice, any walking dandruff, any scabs or wounds anywhere on the body? Then I have my lovely technician hold him up. And I assess the feet. Rabbits don't have uh, pads on their feet. They only have fur that covers their the bottoms of their feet. So they should never shave on the fur back here. Um, if you do, they have nothing to protect their foot. I look for signs of bumblefoot or thinning of the hair on the feet. Um, you'll often see it start down here and progress upwards. I look at the nails, see if they need a nail trim. We will get a nail trim in just a little bit. Then I look at the genitals. He's a boy rabbit, so here's one testicle here. So rabbits can suck their testicles up into their abdomen. So that's why a lot of them get misgendered when they're young. Here's the other one, hiding. Look at their penis, their anus right here. Look for signs of diarrhea. Normal rabbit pellets will be round and somewhat dry. Stool that is too dry or too wet is certainly a cause for concern, but it's important not to get them confused with cecotropes, which are different type of feces that they ingest directly from their anus. These are more moist and found in clusters, and they are packed with nutrients that your rabbit needs to be healthy. Now on either side, the penis, you'll see these scent glands. So you can see that some product builds up there. It's waxy. Sometimes I clean them out, especially if there's a lot of buildup. It's like a little waxy substance. And they can smell pretty bad. These aren't terrible. Some rabbits have a lot of buildup on each side. And then I look at their, their front feet too. Make sure no signs of bumblefoot and trim their nails up here too. Thanks for watching along. If you found this useful, I'd really appreciate if you shared it with other rabbit lovers.